Hello, I am Connor Murphy here at the DDNC show. Um, today I'm here along again, David Pigeon TD and Dan Sorry. Okay, today we will be we will be talking about the Jets offseason acquisitions, um, the uh, NFL's best running backs, and the Super Bowl picks for the 2014-2015 season. Dan, who do you think? Uh, no, David, what do you think about the Jets um, offseason acquisitions? Well, I think that they were very good picking up Michael Vick, a veteran quarterback who has some had some mister history with injuries, but I think he can deal through them. Uh, young gun Eric Decker uh, coming from the Broncos, that was a great pickup, and Chris Johnson, a former uh, rush single season rushing record. So I think if Chris Johnson can get back on track, Eric Decker stays at the level he's been, and Michael Vick can avoid injury, they're a playoff team. Dan, what do you think? David, I could not agree with you more. Literally, you practically took the words out of my mouth. Um, I think a big, I think a big star will be Michael Vick. I think if he can hold the team together, which I'm positive he will, then they will be a playoff team. Definitely. No more dog fights. Okay, <laughs> on to the next, on to the next topic. Who do you got, Dan? Who do you think is the top five best, best NBA, I mean, NFL running backs? Um, well, I think number five would be. No, Sean Marina. David, who's number four? Uh, I would say number four would be Arian Foster out of Texas. Has some off-the-field issues, but he's great on-the-field player. Number three would definitely, there's no doubt in my mind, be Adrian Peterson. David, what do you think? Who do you think is number one? Boy, you're crazy. Or number two. Number two. <laughs> well, most people would call me crazy for putting Adrian Peterson at three, but just look at the stats from last season. He didn't perform as well. Um, our number two is Lee Sean McCoy, single seat, um, the rushing record, the rushing leading the league in rushing last year. And number two, I mean, and number one, of course, is Jamal Charles. He's just he's a great running back. He know he knows how to run. He's really fast, and he can break tackles. He can do everything. He's, he comes. He goes up for the pass too. He, yes, and he can also catch. He's everything plus more that you want in a running back. He's definitely my number one. There's no doubt in my mind. Okay, Dan, who do you think is the best? Who do you think is the Super Bowl picks going to be? 49ers, Patriots. Okay. No doubt. I, David, what about you? I, I, he's crazy. Uh, I think it's definitely going to be the opposite of that. It, I think it's the same as last year. Broncos with their high-powered offense, as always, and their defense stepped up this year, getting the huge acquisitions of pro, all pros T.J. Ward, Akeem Talib, and, T, and uh, DeMarcus Ware. And the Seahawks obviously return also just because they're such a powerhouse. The 49ers can't stop him. Colin Kaepernick has off-the-field issues that he's going to need to resolve. That could take some time if he doesn't get them resolved quickly. So, Dan, who do you think the winner will be? The winner, if I actually have to change it, I think the Seahawks are going to be a big contender. I think, I think I see where David's coming from. I see the Seahawks. I think they have the potential to win it again. So, who do you think the winner will be? Seahawks. David, what about you? Well, I'd just like to say, Dan, I think I might have moved you to make that decision. But uh, anyway, on to mine. I think the Broncos win. Peyton Manning's a beast. That's all okay. I have to say. Thank you today for joining us on the DDNC show, and we hope to see you next time.